and welcome to the monthly update for the Siebel CRM 23.6 release. Brought to you by the Siebel Hub, your number one resource for high quality, always up to date Siebel CRM training. The sixth update package for Siebel 23 brings a substantial number of new features and enhancements in various areas. Web Tools gains not one, but four new object wizards. CTI users will love the new client size SCAPI for CCAAS. In Universal Custom Master, UCM, developers can now use callback functions for Transaction Manager. The long-awaited event publication and subscription with Apache Kafka has arrived. On Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, OCI, Siebel Upgrade Factory is now publicly available. The Tomcat version for Siebel 23.6 is 9.0.72. And we bid farewell to SODD, Siebel Outlook Drag and Drop. That's a lot of new information to discover. So let's dig in. The traditional Siebel Tools IDE spoils developers silly with more than 20 so-called new object wizards. Siebel Web Tools had exactly zero wizards until 21.4, which brought the web service wizard. Earlier this year, in 23.3, the EIM table mapping wizard was added to Siebel Tools. With the 23.6 update, the number of browser dwelling wizards grows to a total of six, as Oracle adds wizards for creating business components, commands, integration objects, and transient business components for task-based UI to Siebel Web Tools. Oracle uses task-based UI to create the web tools wizards, so the look and feel is understandably different from the classic Siebel tools experience. Yet, the overall functionality remains the same. For instance, the selection of columns from the base table to create an initial list of fields in a new business component is facilitated by the shuttle applet combination. In the integration object wizard, the selection of future integration components is supported by a hierarchical list applet. Let's move on to CTI, which stands for Computer Telephony Integration. This is one of the key technologies in contact centers, and Siebel CRM has a long-standing tradition in supporting various third-party products to assist call center agents in engaging with customers via phone, email, or chat, just to name a few supported channels. The rise of cloud technologies brought forth a variety of things as a service, and Contact Center as a Service, CCAAS, is one of them. This concept combines the power of omni-channel contact centers with the benefits of the cloud. With Siebel CRM 23.6, integration with cloud-based contact center offerings has become much easier. Oracle provides a new client-side integration layer, which thanks to it being part of the Siebel Open UI API, should prove highly customizable. UCM, or Universal Customer Master, is another area that benefits from the latest Siebel CRM update. The UCM Transaction Manager Business Service now supports the configuration of hooks to run code in the form of a business service method before or after the EAI Siebel Adapter Transaction. Now it's time to talk about what is probably the most exciting feature included in Siebel CRM 23.6 and higher. Event publication and subscription with Apache Kafka, also referred to as event pub slash sub. Kafka was received around 2011 by engineers at LinkedIn to solve their data integration problems as they moved from a monolithic database to distributed systems. Apache Kafka can be best described as a distributed streaming platform that can receive, store, and route large volumes of messages. If you're new to Apache Kafka, exhaustive information is just a Google search away. With Siebel CRM 23.6 and higher, Oracle provides a framework to send and receive messages to and from Apache Kafka. As you would expect, the central Siebel side object in this implementation is a business service, simply dubbed Event Handler. Developers can use this business service or copies of it to send messages to Kafka topics, for example, from a runtime event action or a custom script. The business service class also allows developers to implement methods to process messages received from a Kafka consumer. 
The communication with Kafka is implemented by the Java Kafka client library, which naturally is hosted on a Java application container. In case of Siebel CRM, that's Apache Tomcat, which is used to power the external AI and internal SES containers in a Siebel environment. Wait a minute. Yes, that's a different type of Tomcat server, the Sidecar AI. This is the name chosen by Oracle, which can be a bit confusing since this Tomcat does not actually host the application interface, AI. It acts as a Tomcat in the middle between the Siebel Object Manager and Apache Kafka running the Kafka client producers and consumers. Maybe Sidecar Tomcat is a less ambiguous name. If you want to learn more about the new event publication and subscription feature, stay tuned for our new Siebel Hub training course, which is about to be published soon. If your organization is running Siebel CRM IP 16 or earlier, you're looking at seven or more years of missed innovation. It's about time to upgrade. Alas, upgrading a Siebel environment from IP 16 or earlier can be a daunting task with cost and effort in the range of several person years. Good to know that once you're on Siebel 23, the Oracle continuous release model ensures that you never have to upgrade again. Even better to know that projects which have not yet upgraded can benefit from the latest addition to Oracle's cloud management frameworks for Siebel CRM. The Siebel Upgrade Factory is an extension of the OCI-based Siebel Cloud Manager, SCM, and is available in the OCI marketplace. Once SCM with Upgrade Factory is deployed on OCI, customers can upload artifacts gathered from a pre-IP17 development environment, such as database export files, web template files, and so forth to Oracle Cloud Storage. Then via REST calls, a series of processes are launched that create a development database on OCI, analyze the level of effort from the upgrade, and conduct the actual development upgrade also referred to as UpGrep, IRM, and UpGFIS. The result is a development database on OCI that's ready for post-upgrade configuration. Customers can use the OCI instance or download the result for use on their premises. Upgrade Factory supports Siebel CRM upgrades from as early as Siebel 8 to the latest Siebel CRM version. If your end user's tasks include dragging and dropping emails or email attachments from Microsoft Outlook onto Siebel attachment applets, it's highly likely that your organization has deployed Siebel Outlook drag and drop, SODD, onto your end user's computers. SODD is a plugin for Microsoft Outlook and ensured that drag and drop operation worked as intended. With modern versions of your favorite browser, SODD is no longer required. That's why Oracle decided to end the support for SODD. Farewell, little bugger. And there you have it, another action-packed update for Siebel 23. Stay tuned for announcements on the Siebel Hub website and YouTube channel for updates on our always up-to-date training curriculum. Siebel 23 is off to a great start, and so is the Siebel Hub learning experience. Check out the updated Siebel Hub curriculum, including the Siebel 23 Plus workshop, which provides Siebel practitioners with all the information they need to work with the latest Siebel CRM updates. Go to SiebelHub.com and start learning today. Hi, it's Alex from the Siebel Hub, and today we are going to answer the old question, is it an upgrade? or an update. So let's see. As of Siebel 23 and higher, you have upgrade or update pass depending on the version you're currently on. So if you have 7.5, 7.7, that's really old. That's 20 years and older. So you're in for a two-step upgrade according to the upgrade guide in Bookshelf. If you are slightly higher, 7.8 to 8.2, you still have to do a one-step full upgrade. And for both, you're still on high interactivity, on Internet Explorer, unbelievable. Yes, you have to go to OpenUI as well. The two-step upgrade takes you to 8.1.1, and if you have that, or any other version up to IP16, you're in for what's known as an incremental repository merge. 
our IRM. So all of these are upgrades and that means to go from these versions to the latest 20.3, this is a month-long project measured in person months or person years. And we're not here to cover all of it. You need to get professional help from consulting and Oracle to get your upgrade project on the way and get to the latest Siebel CRM. So if you already are on IP17 or anything higher than that, including 18, 19, 20, you name it, then we talk about updates. And an update is measured in person days. So it's just a matter of a few days to get your environment from that older version to the latest 23.x or higher. So let's dive a little bit into the update paths that we have. So there are a few mandatory steps you have to take. You have to make sure you back up your environment database, then you run what's known as the modular deployment engine or MDE, which does all the binary stuff really. And then you run the post install database update. This is mandatory and it updates your database, that's why I take a backup, with schema, C data, and manifest data that brings in, well, the mandatory stuff that Oracle has developed since your last version. Now, there are a few optional steps as well, depending on your implementation, such as running the repository upgrade, that you decide upon information from Oracle in the release notes or bookshelf, and it runs only on the development environment and brings new, well, repository stuff into your repository along with schema, C data, and manifest. If you have to follow some configuration instructions from Oracle, you also do that in the DR environment. In any environment, there could be any known issues that you need to fix and administrative changes might also be on your menu. So let's look at the development update in greater detail. You start with backing up your environment and database. Make sure you have a safe point to go back to. You shut down the software on that machine, Siebel Server, Gateway, or AI, and then you run the MDE, typically on the first Siebel Server, because that's where the post-install database update runs as well. It has to be run once per database. And if that doesn't complete successfully, you have to rinse and repeat until that's successful. Then you run the MDE to update any other Siebel software, any other Siebel servers, gateways, AIs, and don't forget Siebel tools or developer web client or mobile web client. Then it's time to start up that development enterprise so you can decide if you have a repository upgrade. Now let's do the fast track. Let's say, no, we don't need a repository upgrade. We have no configuration instructions, no administrative changes. That will mean we're done with the development update. But there might be just a longer path. So when you have decided to run the repository upgrade, you of course have to run it and successfully so. If there are any config instructions, that's developer work in Web Tools too, and that has to be tested and delivered. Now, administrative changes depend on what version you are, what features you're using. So let's say you have some, and then you of course have to implement them, and now we're done. Now let's take a look at test or production or RR environments. We start with a backup shut down the software, run the modular deployment engine in update mode on the first Siebel server to get that post-install database update out of the way. And then we update any other instances of Siebel CRM that you have in that environment. Start up the environment. If there have been no repo repository changes and no administrative changes to do, we are done. Now, the longer path is, of course, if you had repository changes, you need to go and fire up that migration application to migrate the repository. And don't forget the C data changes from the development to the RR environment. 
make sure you test that thoroughly. And if you have any administrative changes, depending on your implementation, you have to implement those. And then we're done with the update of a test or production environment.